Now this is cool. See the old Model T here and the beginning of transportation. And then a hundred years later, we're using a scanner to get data off of this motorcycle. Can you imagine that? Like what would Henry Ford think about scanning a vehicle at him? How crazy would it, he would, his mind would have been pew, completely blown, right? I thought it was witchcraft. Now for years and years and years, these were just too expensive, right? For a shop like ours to, to use 80 grand, 50 grand, and they just kept coming down. And this uh, Shining 3D Ion Scan is roughly around five, $6,000. Not a salesperson, don't quote me on exactly what the MSRP is, but it's an amazing tool that we use. And what happens is Adam is taking, scanning this uh, Kramer motorcycle. It's based on a 690 KTM. And we're getting data that we can use uh, to get a radiator built. So I was at SEMA and PWR makes these just insane cooling systems. I mean, Formula One, Porsche Racing, Le Mans, Formula E. I mean, all of these just top level motorsports, right? And they're take, so they're gonna make us this curved, beautiful, billet ended, insane radiator for this bike. And they're in Australia. So if you look down at the computer, you can kind of see the STL file that it's creating. And by taking this, this STL file, we'll be able to email it to Australia. They'll have the data they need. They'll have the little tabs that are gonna mount the radiator. They'll know exactly how it goes. And I mean, in the old days, what well, we'd made some cardboard probably, some Bondo, some clay, whatever we had to do um, to make a mock-up, FedEx it to Australia now. This is super easy, especially when I, you know, there's Adam here. So I just basically watch, um, push this, push the email. <laughs> and I can't wait to see like how it comes out. I mean, this thing's gonna be insane. So anyway, cool technology. If you're using this stuff, there's really no need these days that you wouldn't use it. In fact, we're even using it on door panels and kind of flat files uh, that we hadn't used in the past. So check it out.